Tulane fans, welcome back to Green Wave Weekly, the best place for you to find out everything you need to know about Tulane athletics. I'm Casey Rogers, a senior on your track and field team. And I'm junior Steve Barnett from your Green Wave football team. This past week we had six athletic teams in action, and we'll take a look at their results. We'll also feature Tulane Student Athlete of the Week and have a look into this week's upcoming events. The Green Wave football team took on the Syracuse Orangemen Saturday night at the newly named Mercedes-Benz Superdome. Tulane welcomed the Orangemen to the Dome with an 80-yard drive capped off by a 40-yard score from sophomore running back Orleans Darkwall. With a few more scores from Syracuse, freshman wide receiver Xavier Rush scored for Tulane on a 60-yard touchdown pass. Brian Griffin and the Wave refused to give up as he connected again with Rush for a touchdown to tie the game at 34. But with just two seconds left in the game, Syracuse's Krootman found three more points, breaking the tie just as the buzzer went off. The Tulane Green Wave bowling team had their first match in school history at Rock and Bowl. They would battle Southern University and Sarah Knapp would lead the way. She averaged 197.3 per game, 205 in the first, 197 in the second, and 190 in the third. Due to time constraints, the team only rolled five out of the eight scheduled games. The Wave would get an early jump bowling a 172 compared to a Jaguar 170. The Jags came back and led by 40 pins in the second. Tulane would tie with Southern in the third game before battling in the fourth. The Green Wave would cut the deficit to 11 pins. Unfortunately, the Jaguars would eventually beat the Wave, 903 to 849. Our women's tennis team headed out to Houston, Texas to take on the Rice Owls at the Rice Invitational on Friday. Tulane smashed the competition with three singles victories by senior Lindsey Dvorak and juniors Caroline Magnuson and Caroline Thornton. Also on the courts this weekend, Eden Mark played Thursday at the 2011 ITA All-American Tournament in Oklahoma. Tulane Volleyball would travel to Dallas, Texas to square off against the SMU Mustangs. They would face the Mustangs Saturday and Sunday. But Badawi, Oot, and Grace Weaver's kills led to the four-set victory to snap the four-match losing streak. Unfortunately, on Sunday, the Green Wave couldn't repeat Saturday's effort. The Tulane University golf team had one of their best rounds this past Sunday at the Tar Hill Invitational. They put together a 5 over 293 total for a 14th place finish. The Student Athlete of the Week is Sarah Knapp, a junior from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Knapp has maintained a 3.036 GPA in Arkansas. She led the Green Wave in Tulane's first bowling match in school history on Saturday morning. The junior recorded the morning's top individual score in the five-person competition with a total of 592 pins and a 197.3 average. On Friday, volleyball will play against Marshall at Fogelman Arena, game starting at 7 p.m. On Saturday, October 15th, football will face UTEP at the Superdome at 2.30 p.m. Saturday, cross country will travel to Tuscaloosa, Alabama to compete at the Crimson Classic. Saturday, the swimming and diving team will take on North Texas at the Riley Center. The meet will begin at 11.30. On Sunday, October 16th, Volleyball will face off against East Carolina in Fogelman Arena at 1 o'clock p.m. That's all for this episode of Green Wave Weekly. For more information on Tulane Athletics, be sure to check out the Green Wave on Twitter or Facebook. Also, make sure to visit TulaneGreenWave.com for additional information on your Tulane Athletics. Thanks for watching. Rise, Rise up! up.